What's up guys, this is Jeremy, finally back with another review of a fragrance that I have honestly overlooked. The review of today will be Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. Why did I overlook this one? Because simply the original Spice Bomb didn't give me the reactions that I wanted to have so badly because this to me personally is one of the best fragrances ever created. Olivier Polch, he made this one Spice Bomb. I don't even know if he made also Spice Bomb Extreme. But anyways, this has won the subscriber's choice of you guys. You wanted to see this fragrance review from so many others. I have uh, suggested you and this will be my review about this very good fragrance, all right? This is a winter fragrance, guys. Imagine the following situation, guys. You are with a girl in the Alps and you are in a wooden house surrounded by a lot of snow. You've been out the whole day skiing or snowboarding. She's looking forward to the evening. You are looking forward to the evening. You know why you are here now the next two, three hours, what you're going to do there in front of the burning fireplace. You are wearing some cashmere pullover or sweatshirt, cashmere cuddle stuff and she's coming to you, she smells this one, she will love this one so hardcore. So this is absolutely the best situation I could imagine wearing Spice Bomb Extreme. So Spice Bomb Extreme is a very warming, ultimately inviting fragrance. This is not an attention grabber like Versace Eros or even Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male or even Dior Sauvage. This is more like an inviting, relaxed, laid back. This is not a shouter, um, although it does have pretty good performance. I'm going to show you now what the ladies thought about Spice Bomb Extreme. Watch out, this is very strong. What do you think about Spice Bomb Extreme? Very strong. I don't consider it like very strong. No? Well, that's good. It's spicy, I think it really depends on the... On the guy? The... And also maybe on the season. I mean, we have still summer right no, no, here. No, the character. Yeah. Yes, strong character. Yes, they have a strong man. A what man? Uh, uh, masculine. Yes. Masculine, full of brutality. For a masculine man full of brutality, okay. <laughs> no, but um, don't you agree that this might be something more for colder season? Yes. Like something warming? Yeah, it's warming. Me, winter, right? Yes. Autumn, winter, I would agree. So do you find this on the right guy, sexually appealing? Is this attractive? On yeah, the right sexy. guy? Right yeah, guy. on the right guy for yeah, you. Yeah, and he's strong. On a strong guy. Yeah. Has tobacco and vanilla, so a lot of tobacco. So rating, one to ten? Eight. 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 Awesome, good. Okay, what do you think about this fragrance for a man? Is this sexy or not? It's sweet. Definitely sweet. It's good. It's good? It's good. Is it very good it, it, or just very good? good. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. What's the rating for this one? Seven and a half, eight. Cool. Eight, you know, eight, eight, you know. You know what? what? Now we have warm weather. I see this more in the cold weather, maybe yeah. cuddling with your boyfriend in the snow, you know, this type of scent. <laughs> yeah, right? Cool. I Vanilla see. is stronger than tobacco. Yeah. No, maybe. Cool. It doesn't okay, yeah. So an eight point. Really eight cool. out yeah, of ten cool for what about this scent right here? Not showing you the bottle because you might know it. How do you like this for a man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Closing your eyes like this, you seem to like it. Yeah, but it's very feminine. It's feminine, okay. But I still like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think it's feminine too? No. No. It has the sweetness in it. Yeah, it has sweetness, but it has a lot of spices in it. Oh, it's um, yeah. very, very spicy in terms of... Spice bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's spice bomb extreme. Yeah. There's a lot of vanilla in it, so mm -hmm. maybe that's the feminine touch we get. I really like it. You really like it. You too. How would you rate this from 1 to 10? 8. Yes, 8. And I see this, if I can tell you the situation, I see this perfectly in. If you have, if you are a couple, girlfriend, boyfriend, you go to the snow in the Alps, in the wood house. Yes, and yes. And he cu you cuddle with him. 
that's the warming scent, mm -hmm. right? It's very, it's very warming. warming. Yeah, it's Nothing like for cozy, the summer, yeah. right? It's more for the colder and fall. And yes. Yeah, yes, definitely warming. more like autumn, winter, yeah. as you say. So eight out of ten. Good. Perfect. Very good. So eight out of ten all the way. I never had that in my life that every girl said the same, at least in the girls I asked in front of the camera to this fragrance, eight out of 10. So how I'm going to rate this fragrance is pretty, pretty simple. Five, three times the eight. Versatility, only a five because it is screams winter. I will never wear this in the summer, never in the spring and even not in the fall. There's just so much competition. We have so many great fragrances that you can uh, wear instead of this one. It's only suitable for the winter time, but in that category, actually you could wear it to work possibly. You could wear it 100% on a date, which I find best suitable, or the Swiss Alps situation I told you about. So very nice fragrance for the winter time. Still a five out of 10 in the versatility category. Next thing, compliments. Going to give this one an eight, just like I told you. I got compliments from this from Melinda. I got compliments from Lara when I wore this fragrance. Very impressive. I even got compliments from guys in the gym when I tested this fragrance. And the gym is, uh, we still had pretty hot temperatures. I was wearing Spice Perfect Extreme. Very weird fragrance, not very appropriate for the gym, but still I got some compliments. This could potentially join my top 10 most complimented fragrances. So eight out of 10 for the compliments. Eight out of 10 for the performance. This is, Pretty, pretty nice in the performance category, but just like Paco Rabanne's Pure Excess, which is also very sweet, kind of comparable with that one, very mellow, uh, smooth, very smooth, both are very smooth, but both also very sweet. So you expect a lot from sweet wintry fragrance, especially when you talk about tobacco and vanilla, you expect 15 hours and longer you won't get that with this one, but still it's better than most fragrances out there. So eight out of 10 in the performance category. And the last thing is uniqueness. Also an eight out of 10, just as I told you, there's not much that smells like this. Of course, we have a couple of tobacco slash vanilla fragrances and a lot of fragrances are kind of circling around this Olivier Polch spice bomb DNA that he created with this machine of awesomeness, what this fragrance is. It is something created completely new by Olivier Polch when uh, Spice Bomb came out, Spice Bomb Extreme goes the same direction. Fantastic, very happy, eight out of 10. So we got three times an eight, one time and five out of 10. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10, although it logically might not have a sense after you see my judging on this but I think this is an 8.5 fragrance. It is a very nice one. It is a borderlining Hall of Fame champion fragrance. Um, for right now, not, not top five best fragrances ever, I wouldn't say so, but it is up there. It's really, really, boom, I'm Spice Bomb Extreme for the winter time, here I am, I'm the champion for the winter time. Try to say something else. Try to compete with me in the winter time. That's what this fragrance is saying. All right, guys, love you very much. As usual, thanks for supporting me on this dream that I'm living 100%. See you next time with another video.